Hey everybody, in this video we're going to talk about three extremely important questions that you're going to need to answer before you start doing any kind of marketing campaign. If you answer these three questions, it's going to help you to not only form what kind of copy you create for your, your ads and your content that you're going to put out there, it's also going to get, help you to get really clear on what the benefits are for your clients and your customers. So let's get into this video. Hey there everybody, how's it going? My name is Brandon Bershears and this is the Digital Marketing Madman channel. Today we're going to talk about three very, very important questions that you need to ask yourself before you start doing any kind of ads or start running content or just any kind of marketing activities. Because if you're clear on these things, the content that you create, the offers that you create are going to be a lot more effective because you're going to know with clarity who your, your target is, how to market to them, how to speak to them, and really how you're going to alleviate their pain. So before we get into this video really quick, just want to mention a few things that if you like digital marketing or if you want to grow your, your business with digital marketing, then please consider subscribing. I do daily marketing videos here. I also run a digital marketing agency called Maverick Digital Marketing. So if you need help with your company's marketing, then be sure to click on that link below and check out maverickdigitalmarketing.com. Always happy to help. All right, so let's get into these three questions. Listen, if you just start out, it's like basically, if you, if you don't know who you're serving or what your company stands for and what you guys are trying to achieve, what your brand presence is gonna be online, it's gonna be a lot more difficult. A lot of times companies are out there putting out content and they really haven't thought about these things. What ends up usually happening is it's pretty actually easy to tell when you find a company that has not thought about these elements because they'll start just talking about their product. And sure, it's important to talk about the features of your product and things. But ultimately, people don't buy products because your features are so cool. They buy products because they have a problem and they need a solution. So these three specific questions are going to help you to get a lot more out of your marketing. It's going to help you to create the right positioning and use the correct language when you're talking to people. So let's get into these questions. So question number one, who is your target customer? This sounds super simple and like you're going to know, oh, of course I know who my customers are my clients are or you might say well I just want everybody to be my customer that is a recipe for failure so when you're setting up ads and when you're creating targeting for your ads you can get really detailed in who your target demographic is and if you know the ideal client type that you have then you're going to be able to target those people a lot more effectively now if you have not uh, set up kind of a client avatar be sure to check out my digital marketing planner you can get that on Amazon and it helps you, it has a bunch of different personas or avatars that you can fill out. But for the purpose of this exercise, who is your target market? Typically, I like to actually create a fictional person and I like to think about maybe my top three favorite clients. And um, I'll actually name the different avatars so that when I'm thinking about them and I'm thinking about creating messages, I'll be creating a message for a specific person. So who is your target? I like to do age, gender, um, where they live, What's their household makeup? Do they have pets? Do they have time? Do they work from home? Um, do they work out in a company? What is their position that they work at? Who are they listening to? Who are some of the people that they look to for information? Who are influencers on these people? I like to get really kind of into their mindset and try to figure out what is their biggest concerns and worries and pain points and try to really get honed in on the pain points that they have. Especially if your product or service solves a pain point, then knowing why they're taking action and why they're actually going to use your product is, is a huge advantage when you're creating advertisements or content. So that being said, I think that people do things for typically, in general, three reasons, right? You do things for status, you do things for gain, and you do things for pain. That's typically the, the, the thing. So you got status, pain, and gain. So when you're trying to figure out what people are going, why they'll take action. Typically fear of pain, fear of missing out, that, that pain part is a really strong motivator. People will do things to avoid pain. They'll go to great lengths to avoid pain. A lot of times they won't necessarily go to great lengths to get gain. Sometimes they will, but if you think about like working out or fitness or, you know, if, if everybody was goal oriented, there wouldn't be overweight people that were unfit, right? Of course, there's exemptions for different health reasons, but most of the time people are not in good shape, myself included, because we don't work out. So it's not that we don't know that if we set a goal, it would work, but it's just that that goal sometimes is not as appealing as, you know, staying home and doing what's easy. So using fear of pain is a, is a better motivator a lot of times. 
So with that being said, what are the top five pain points that your product or service it solves basically. So that's question number two. What are the top five pain points that your product or service solves for the market and for your target market? And so that's very, very important to understand. Not like if you have, let's say, for example, a, let's say you were a personal trainer, for example. Okay. And the top five pain points, let's say you talk about how cool your gym is all the time. And you talk about how well-trained your staff are. And you talk about how much experience you have. That is great, and it's again talking about you, but that's not addressing the pain points that they have. People aren't going, they're not saying, oh, I'm so in pain because I haven't, I don't have a gym that has technology in it or something, you know? Like they're going to the gym because they want to look good. Maybe they want to attract the person that they are trying to get. Maybe they feel really unhealthy. Maybe the doctor has said, you have to lose weight or else there's going to be serious health consequences. Maybe they're not able to move. Maybe they're not able to, right? So if we frame that in terms of pain, they're lonely, they're unhealthy, and they're afraid that they're going, if they don't make changes, they're not going to be around for a long time. They want to see their kids getting older, right? So really framing it in an emotional way so that you're talking about what are the pain points that, that you solve. If you think about it, most people join gyms for different reasons, but I think typically people will stay committed to something if they have a serious reason why. And so if you have somebody who's committed to working out and going the distance and staying as a member, you're going to have somebody who's a lot more um, profitable for your business. But targeting people based on those emotions and then converting them to paying customers who really get a lot of value and benefit out of your business and your product and service, you're going to solve those pain problems that, that you have there. So that's very, very important. So what are the top five pain points? that your product or service solves for your customers. And so the third question, and that's the second part of this question, so what are the pain points? And then how do you solve those pain points? So thinking about what makes your company unique, what is your unique selling proposition, trying to find out what you're going to do for um, your customers, how you're going to deliver those results is important. People don't buy drills because they want to have a drill. They buy drills because they want to have a hole. So if you have a customer who needs a hole, then you sell them this drill, the drill does that. Let's go back to the uh, example of a fitness company or a gym. How do you do that? We have multiple workouts that are at convenient time of day, right? So if you have thinking about objections, how do you how do you come across those objections and how do you solve those problems? So people, what are the most common reasons why people don't go work out? It's tough, they don't have accountability, they, it doesn't feel good, they don't wanna do it. Um, so talking about like if you had a business, how do you make sure that they show up? What if you did a, a text message in the morning that was a personal accountability text message that said, hey, I'm waiting for you, get over here, or you know, whatever it is. So what makes your business unique and how can you help your customers achieve their goals by relieving these pain points? And how does your business specifically relieve these pain points? So if you're clear on these three things, it's typically pretty easy to create content around these kind of questions and also then offers around these kind of questions. You're also able to get more into their mindset when they're doing searches on the internet and other things like that. So before you start, always ask yourself, who is this for? And try to target it down to one person. The more that you can speak to a single person, the more effective it's going to be. The second thing is, what are their biggest pain points and challenges that they're facing right now? And then the third one is, how do we solve these problems? How does this product or, or service solve these problems for these people? So I hope this was helpful for you please be sure to comment below. I would love to know what are you doing in your business? Let me know what the answer to these three questions are and I'll help you to refine your message. But who are you targeting? What are their biggest challenges and pain points? And then how do you solve those problems? I'd love to hear. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. If you want to improve your business and grow, increase sales, and find more customers and clients online, this is a great channel for you. So have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video.